Of the more than 26,000 bridges here in Illinois, one stands out for what you might call its tenacity. In tonight's cover story, WGN's Jackie Bang looks at a north suburban bridge known not only for its historical significance, but for its ability to withstand near constant assaults by careless drivers. Well, we certainly have covered the collisions of the Long Grove Covered Bridge many times. In fact, residents say it's practically a weekly occurrence. So we thought we'd take a closer look at this 116 year old marvel, which defies so many modern day vehicle mishaps. Enter Long Grove in Lake County and you are invited back in time. It's a way to slow down. It's a way to enjoy a bit of the past. People come for the shops and restaurants, but the jewel of the village carries no price tag. It's been the, the town symbol for a long time. It would be considered a Pratt Bridge, and there's really only a couple left in northern Illinois. It's certainly the only one that's in this good a condition and still operating as a bridge. Built in 1906, it was initially called the Buffalo Creek Bridge, named after the waterway over which it spans. The wooden cover was added in 1972. Some have nicknamed her the Queen and the Protector of Long Grove, but this Queen has needed some protection of her own. Stop! Stop! Go up! No! Say bye to your truck! Ma and Pa's candy store owner Jeff Taylor shot that collision right outside his shop in February 2021. Tell me the last time that the bridge has been hit. Monday. Hard to believe until right before our very eyes as photojournalist Ted Para is shooting the bridge for our story. A truck driver ignores the signs and hits the top of the bridge. I just tried to stop to see first and it doesn't fit, so you know. You I'm found out the me. hard way. Yeah, I know. As he drives away, we notice. See, it says 10-6. The bridge measures 8 feet 6 inches. No harm this time, but in June 2018, just two weeks after the bridge was placed on the National Register of Historic Places, a box truck demolished the structure. It always gets hit a few times each year, but that was far and away the worst hit it ever had, and it ended up closing the bridge for a year or so. It was restored, but 23 hours after the official reopening in August 2020, another driver in a chartered school bus not only hit it, but got stuck. This time, however, there was only minor damage to the bridge. The headache um, bar, yeah. yeah. Can opener is another term yeah, that people can use for it. We've heard, yeah. That's what they lovingly call these I beams, which were installed as part of the bridge's more than $1 million renovation two years ago. Since then, the Lake County Sheriff's Office has recorded 32 strikes by vehicles, yet the bridge stands strong. How many every times it's hit? Truckers are zero and the bridge is one every time. It baffles residents. How can drivers miss all these signs? It's just sad. There's, it's not like there's a shortage of signage. A shortage of IQ or ability to read, I think, is the problem. They are everywhere, in front, in back, on top. Part of the problem, your phone navigation app. People are looking at the GPS and it's telling them to go and they look at the sign and well, it tells me to go anyways. Through all of this, a few local businesses have had some good natured fun. It's called uh, Bad Move and it's uh, named after all the U-Hauls that get stuck under there lately. Mike Marr of Buffalo Creek Brewing has named several of his craft beers in honor of this sturdy little bridge. There was two tall IPA, plus wedgie, Say goodbye to your truck and bad move. Despite a boost in some businesses, residents aren't particularly thrilled about all the media attention following a bridge strike. But each hit solidifies the reputation of this stately and strong jewel of the village. I guess I tolerate the continued run-ins it has. I know it's not doing that much damage to the bridge, if any, so it's the little bridge that could.
Collisions are now more costly to the drivers, not just the vehicle repairs, but from penalties. A ticket starts at about $700. Back to you.